For every day in October, I'm gonna build a part in my level based on a theme I get from this random spinner. Now, I have zero creator points, so my only goal is to finish all 31 parts of my level this month and get it rated. There are two rules. The first rule is that when I get a theme, I take it off the wheel and I have to do it no matter what. The second rule is that I have to upload each and every part as a YouTube video from the 1st of October to the 31st. Will I finish the challenge or will I succumb and fail? Hello and welcome. It's Blocktober day 15. We're halfway through. October, it's gonna be space. <laughs> Space. Okay, so we're just gonna be like a spaceship. We're gonna go. We're gonna go through space. We're gonna go. We. 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 We're just gonna. Hi, my name is Manga, and welcome back to Blocktober. Last time we made this sick sky part that looks pretty nice, but today is day 15, and we are making a space theme. Now, the first thing I want to probably work on is the block design. I'm not sure what I really want to do for space theme block design, but I'm sure I'll find something out. Uh, I'm not too sure. Okay, what I'm thinking is maybe make it like a space station of some sorts. Okay, very simple block design, but I think we can make this work somehow. Actually, you know, gray, I don't think it's a very good color for this. Oh, maybe a pink? Put it there. Okay, that's actually cool. And then behind all that, probably just add a drop shadow because that's what I usually do for objects. And then now I'm just going to copy and paste this object everywhere because who doesn't love doing that? And at this point, we're just going to take a look at our base structures. Uh, yeah, they. I guess they give off kind of space. Uh, I'm going to have to work on that. Now I have an idea to make a moon in the background, but... I don't know how that's gonna turn out. I could possibly add some texturing to the moon like this, where I kind of get a few of these rocky objects and put them on the moon with a with a 20% opacity. Now we do not have a lot of time here, so we got to go quickly. And then if you saw what I did last time for the sun animation, I think I'm just gonna copy that because why make a whole new trigger system when you can just use the old one? Okay, put that down by two and it should spring up. It, it springs up way too. Okay, now it should be good. Nope, too low. Okay, now it should be good. Yeah, that's good. And I put in some pulses. Da, 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 da. It just needs to sync up with the music, you know? So let's check that out. Yeah, okay, I think that syncs up pretty well. And I also want to add these pillars. They should add to the general total vibe of the level instead of, you know, obstructing your vision. Okay, I think what would look good is if we copy and paste this pillar, put it behind itself, made a copy color 77 blending, and just warp it slightly like that. Probably lower the brightness. Oh god, all right, I made that thing again, but remove some of the clashing parts. Okay, it looks pretty nice. Now add a drop shadow, because I love drop shadows. And just continue doing that, so we can copy and paste that and just keep that as a pillar combination. Okay, let's see the black rods. Oh, uh, okay, I need to fix that. There's too much glow. Don't fade, don't enter, no glow. Um, no effect. Now, let's see it again. It's fixed, all right. But you know what's bugging me? The moon is too in front of the stuff so i'm just gonna move it to the background okay now in between the blocks what can i do in between the blocks also i just want to show you guys something new i learned if you want to normally warp this this thing you can't warp it upwards because you know but if you get another object and put it on that axis and then you warp them wait but if you get an object and place it on its vertical axes select them both Oh, wait. Okay, I guess you have to put it there for some reason, but you can warp it, stretch it like that, and then put it there. Pretty cool part. And then copy paste that to the other side. Let's look at how look look normally in normal mode. Yep, that is actually peak. I made an arrow design. Woohoo! And now the arrow design, link it together, and then just copy and paste it in a bunch of areas. And I am probably just going to copy and paste this design to every other block as well. Dude, I got the issue again. Well, I'm going to use a trick again. Place an object at the top left corner and then boom everything oh it, it does okay just gonna make the background lighter just so i can actually see what i'm doing oh you can't select them both at the same time but if you select this and then that what if you select that that warp no x then the object warp yes I'm so confused but anyways time to just copy and paste these lemon arrows everywhere you know what I feel like adding some character. Yep, I'm gonna make this block into a club step monster. I'm, I can't help myself, dude. I keep making everything into a club step monster. And the strategy I just use to make eyes is to have different layers of just blending of the same color and overlay them together. That just works in my occasion. All right, I have not looked at how these look like in normal mode. Please look good, please look good, please look good. Okay, they look kind of goofy, but I'm gonna let it slide. Actually, no, I'm not gonna let that slide. I'm gonna make these eyes darker. It should work better now please 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 what oh that's why it's 
it's overlapping with these blocks. I have an effect idea, but it's like super um ambitious. Okay, it's hard to explain, so I'm I think I'm just gonna draw it on like MS Paint. Okay, guys, so this is the feather. Still with me? Now I want the guy to be extremely stretched and then elastically just lose his stretchiness as he comes down into the center, making a really cool effect. And then eventually, it's just the regular block. So this means we have to give a group to each of the jaws. And also this connector, because we can't just have that hanging out in the middle of nowhere. Move each jaw five apart, and then this thing. I have a plan. We're gonna add a center ID to the middle of the thing, and we're just gonna stretch the mid part out a lot. I wanna see how much we have to scale it by Y in order to reach both the jaws. Okay, scale by four, does it reach? Say yes, say yes, say yes. Wait, that's perfect. Hold on. At an expo in out one, we're gonna make the we're gonna make the mid part go back to its original size with a 0.25. Because four divided by 0.25 is one, which is the original size. Oh my god, mathematics. And while that's also happening, I'm gonna move the upper jaw down by a hundred and the lower jaw up by a hundred. So let's see how that looks. Jesus. Okay, I actually have to calculate how many steps I need. So one, two, three, four, five. It's five. Okay. So in that case, it's actually 50, not 100. So let's go. Please look good. Okay, we need it to be a lot earlier though. And we need it to take more time because at the moment it looks really snappy and weird. I don't want that for a floaty feeling space part. So put it around there and save and play, please. I love that. I'm gonna say it. That's nice. And I think I'm also gonna make different planets as well. So take all these all no audio scale and then scale them all by like 2.5. So I think the first one we're gonna do is probably Earth or something. So perchance it's gotta be blue, right? Okay, and now put the green on there just for the land of the actual Earth. Okay, making planets is kind of hard. I'm actually trying to build a world like how it is. Because of course that's the United Kingdom, that's Europe, that's um... United States, I don't know what it looks like, but I think it looks like kind of like that. And I'm gonna make Africa now. And now just a bit more shading, just to add that extra little bit of spice in. Guys, don't you think that looks like Earth? Yeah, that looks like Earth. That's our planet right there. And now I'm gonna make Mars, which is orange, I think. Orangey red? I'm not too sure. Oh, actually, I could just use these objects for texturing. These look good. Oh my god. Mars, complete. Now we're just gonna make a third planet because... I'm not gonna be bothered to make these last two. I've spent too, way too much time on this. I don't know, maybe I'm just gonna make a little custom planet for this one. Maybe like, uh, Planet of Smangolia or something. I don't, I don't know, man. To fly to this planet, you must, um, subscribe to Smango23. Totally, totally not a self-promo. Then probably make them float in the air or something like that. That will be really nice to see. And then space. The whole point of space, there are stars in the background. So we're gonna add that. Add stars, probably just by doing this or something and scaling them all the way down. Even smaller than that, like that. Quickly making some stars. We are against the time here. I'm supposed to be uploading in like a really soon. So, oh my God, I gotta go work on this quick. Probably just put it like that. Probably just put it like that. I have no time. And then finally set the background to black again. I can't, pr I, I can't click. Set the background to a, a darker color. So now. Now let's look. Ooh, I'm actually a really big fan of that. I like what I cooked there. It's so creative. Nice. Quickly make that title card and then we should be done. And add that to group 192 and I'm going to add a quick effect here. Create loop, create loop, create loop, create loop, create, create, what? And please. Yep, that looks nice. Now I just need to add everything to a group and make a transition and then I'm going to go bonkers with it. How many objects do I use? Okay, actually no, you know what, that's not that many. That's actually quite good. I'm proud, I'm proud. Oh, I'm barely, barely under 1k. Wait, hold on, let me think of an average. So if each part takes 1k objects and I'm doing 31 parts, that's 31k objects in the level, which isn't that object heavy, it's, it won't lag on most people's computers, I don't know, most people's mobiles as well. Okay, and I think I am done. That took me a grand total of 1 hour and 25 minutes. It's not too bad. Let's take a look at normal mode. Day 1. Day 2. Day 3. Oh wow, we've done 15 days of this. Okay. I'm, I'm kind of crazy. All right, beach. Day seven, day eight. I'm liking it, I'm liking it. Hitboxes. City. Medieval. Uh, yeah, I think I think this could get rated. I think. Maybe not, maybe not feature. I maybe feature, actually. It's not that bad. 
And here's our part. Ooh! I cooked. I cooked. I'm gonna say I cooked. And here's the UFO. Uh, but wait, am I a no clip? Oh my god, dude. Okay, uh, bye, 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 bye. Oh my god, I need to upload, I need to upload. I if you're watching two days from now, here's the next part of the level. I promise you, the video is entertaining. Also, subscribe for more beautiful videos, please. Thank you.